chop on a stick. We're Matt and Nat, a travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. After having our world turned upside down in 2020, we decided to set out on our biggest adventure yet to see all 50 states in a year. In our last video, we were in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where we walked along the oldest boardwalk in the country, had a short-lived afternoon on the beach dodging thunderstorms, and watched a beautiful sunset from the famous Steel Pier. This week, we're in the Hawkeye State. Welcome to Iowa! If you couldn't tell by all of the sights and sounds, today we're at the fair. But we're not just at any fair, we are at the Iowa State Fair, which has been ranked one of the best fairs in the United States time and time again. And today we're spending the entire day here <laughs> filled with thrill rides, crazy fair food, and most importantly, butter sculptures. <laughs> Let's get to it. tip buy your tickets in advance yes. like weeks before general admission tickets for nine dollars for us i think if you come to the gate they're 14. Yep. so you save five dollars a person and then we also bought wristbands for unlimited rides while we're here those were a little bit more pricey yep. 36 dollars a pop but you can't buy those when you get here you have to pre-buy them otherwise it would have been way more expensive for us to ride rides if you know natalie she wasn't coming to the fair without unlimited rides oh no let's go <laughs> so we're gonna go pick up up our wristbands right now if we can find the place so we have been on the hunt for a Pepsi clock tower <laughs> forever because that's where we were told we were supposed to pick up our wristbands but we thought it was gonna be a way taller than this right here yeah, we and it's not even on the map if you're coming just know you're looking for a very small clock maybe they'll put it on the map by the time you come to the fair hopefully <laughs> We found some shade <laughs> and we also got a wristband. So we don't really have a game plan per se. All that we know is that if we see something that we want to eat, we're going to stop and eat it. And if we see something we want to ride, we're going to stop and ride. Now I'm most excited about the thrill rides. We are going to ride <laughs> every single one of them. Unfortunately. And, and Matt is most excited about the food, obviously. Definitely. Unfortunately, those two things aren't a great combination, eating all the crap food and then riding all the rides. We'll so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> What are we going to do first, Natalie? Add everything. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. Can we start small with like a Ferris wheel or something? No, no. So we haven't even eaten breakfast yet, lunch. This is the time to go hard. Yeah, I mean, we do have empty stomachs. So let's do it. Gonna come up. So. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>
that's how many rides we've done and I'm already over. <laughs> Yet, we have these things. So we're going on all of them. They're unlimited. And while I don't want to ride any more rides, I also hate wasting money more than I hate riding rides probably. I think we're just gonna have to get him a water. I think he just needs to chill Maybe out. Maybe some rides that don't spin. Okay. on the rides and get Matt some food and a drink. Now that we got some ice cold water and I'm starting to actually be able to walk again and I'm not nauseous at all, I think we're gonna go into the Animal Learning Center. I've heard there's animals in here. I would assume so if you're learning about them. We'll see. So based off the smell, there are animals around. <laughs> family is actually from here in Des Moines. So we have a lot of relatives and family history here. And some of that history is supposedly still on display here at the Iowa State Fair. Natalie's great grandfather has a sled that he hand built that has been on display here for a long time. And we don't know if it's still here or not. Last we heard it was, but that was how long ago? A while. A so long time. We're so on the hunt for it right now. Hopefully we can find it. <laughs> So we stumbled upon something pretty awesome. We're about to watch a sawing competition. I think this is a buck saw. I don't know. I'm not a sawer or a lumberjack or anything, but let's do it. I would do it. I'm just not wearing the right oh, yeah. shoes. I know. <laughs> That's disappointing. I think you could have gotten a blue ribbon. <laughs> One of the sleds <laughs> that is from my family history. Yeah. There's supposedly a much larger one somewhere here on display. We just haven't been able to find it. But either way, it's really cool to see even a small part of Natalie's family history here. So after checking out my family history here at the <laughs> Iowa State Fair, Matt wants to ride a ride. Yeah, this is more my kind of ride. I'm still not back 100% from that last we one. We gotta find that some food. <laughs> So, the unlimited ride bands do not cover Sky Glider. So you have to come and buy individual tickets one way, which lands you on the other side of the fairgrounds, $5. If you want a round trip, come back where you started, $8. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. It really means so much to us and it helps our channel out way more than you'll ever so know. Much. And so does hitting that thumbs up button down below and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Also make sure you guys follow us on Instagram at Adventures of Matt and Nat for story highlights of every trip. Definitely recommend taking the sky glider back down rather than walking at all because it was nice. All right, we're starting with an Iowa classic, and that is a pork chop on a stick. Here we go. Tastes like a pork chop on a stick. And when they say pork chop on a stick, what they mean is pork chop on the bone. It comes with its own handle. And that's a food I can get behind. I'm not usually like a pork chop kind of gal, especially with no sauce or anything, but. You yeah, now just tell me that. I feel like we're at the Renaissance Fair with a turkey leg. Can't come to Iowa without corn. Okay, listen, fun fact, anytime I come to visit family here in Iowa, I could eat sweet corn breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and so I had to get it here at the fair. So these are the bacon wrap wings from the rib shack. I already licked my finger a little bit, and I already <laughs> tell you it's good. <laughs> 
Mm, that's a dang good wing. Your sauce is sweet, nice tang to it, but it's got a little bit of heat to it. Then the saltiness of the bacon hits you. Mm, rib sack wings are where it's at. Sometimes at the fair, you just have to find a place to sit, like right here on the ground. You know, it's the best we could do right now. It's in the shade and that's all that really matters right now. Show them your new <laughs> treat you got. We've got the Island Noodles with Teriyaki Chicken. And if you don't know, the Iowa State Fair encourages all the vendors to come up with new and creative dishes every year. So there's an entire new selection of items to choose from at every state fair, which makes it cool because if you're coming back every year, it gives you something new to look forward to. Then they rate all of those new things before the fair starts and this actually ranked in the top three. I think it was third best out of all the dishes at Iowa State Fair, so we knew that we had to try it. Good, I can't complain about that. Teriyaki is not overwhelming. Oops, I'm dropping chicken over here. Vegetables in it are nice and I got a nice crunch to them still, which is nice. I dig it. Plus, I'm starving, so that probably helped. Right, so we just got the cookies and cream wonder bar which was the 2019 winner yes they didn't have a fair in 2020 so this was the last winner of the state fair so we're excited to try it <laughs> oh man so good i'm so excited oh, delicious. <laughs> oh my god i see why i won mm. that's my favorite thing so far at the fair i think it is mine too and that wing Good. Okay, our stomachs are kind of full. Yep, we've at least had enough to hold us over until we want more snacks. Exactly, so now <laughs> we're gonna ride some more rides. <laughs> we are off. anything the rest of the day I could not do all these rides with her so she's going to ride by herself which is fine by me that was awesome do you see how high I went and the next one a little woozy after that one yeah I don't know what's wrong with me I think I'm just getting old but I cannot do these fair rides like I used to like two rides at max and I'm like done for two hours I feel like so we're gonna go let our stomach settle and maybe check out some butter sculptures. <laughs> I'm not sure that I ever would have thought I would have been standing in line to see a butter sculpture, a cow butter sculpture at that. That's a lot of butter. They're doing a cattle show. Our new fair contest item, it shows a peanut butter and fluff. It's peanut butter cookie dough, marshmallow fluff, and cocoa crispies. Sounds like dipped in chocolate. It's delicious. <laughs> Here we go. First impression. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> This is delicious. Yes, it is next level. I don't even know how to describe it. Heavenly. Heavenly, mm -hmm. for sure. Out of everything we've eaten today, That's this is definitely the highlight. So if you're coming to the Iowa State Fair, hopefully they'll have it. They should have it next year as well, because like I said, it changes yearly. This right here, this peanut butter fluff. Ch cookie dough. Cookie dough, deliciousness dipped in oh, chocolate. Good. Amazing. You won't regret it. On a whim, I really want a dog. But instead of getting a dog, we're gonna go do something even more fun. 
We're gonna go check out the Iowa Craft Beer Tent, which is a place that came highly recommended from John, who is one of our patrons, and you guys actually met him in our Wisconsin video. So we wanna take this time and thank every single one of these people. It's been a pleasure getting to know you guys. You guys are amazing. And if you're interested in checking out our Patreon page, check out the link in the description. So we spent a little too much time at the craft beer tent, but yep. it was so much fun because we got to catch up with Sarah and that was such a surprise. Yeah. I didn't know I was gonna see her. Yeah, we had no idea. She just came up and <laughs> she'd seen us across the crowd. So it was pretty awesome. Made my up. day. Great seeing you, Sarah. <laughs> now we're gonna go try to catch what's left of the sunset from the Ferris wheel, fingers crossed. the band Hanson, guilty pleasure of mine. If you're judging me, go listen to their music because it's that good. But right now they're playing at the grandstand and I can watch their concert from the Ferris wheel and it's awesome. <laughs> out. We've been hearing about these chocolate chip cookies that the State Fair is known for called Barksdale's State Fair Cookies. We decided not to get them earlier today but as we were walking out we Might passed well. by one and we felt like it was the Lord telling us we needed to get some of these. They sell them by the cup and by the bucket. The bucket is $18 <laughs> so we got the cup. <laughs> I'm gonna try one now because they're still warm oh. and gooey and buttery. The lady who passed away and gave the state fair this recipe. It's like a permanent structure here. Yeah, they've now made a permanent structure. Oh. And in 2020, when they didn't have the state fair, they still opened this place up because Iowans wanted these cookies that bad. I don't see why. Oh man. We also got a cup of milk. Ooh, man, these are like the perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh. This is a perfect chocolate chip cookie. I see why everybody loves them. If you're here at the Iowa Zoo Bear, you gotta get these. Get a bucket. I'm glad we didn't leave without getting them. Same. Now that is the best way to end the video. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye.